Hey. Hi. Uh... All right, people. We're ready to go. It's getting very scary in here. Hi, you guys. Are you ready to rock this bad boy? Be afraid. Be very afraid. I've got to do something about my coffee. The boss wants you right away. Allow me to introduce the best of the best. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. After just four days, Taylor Swift has sold more albums in North America than any other artist this year. The star's sixth album, Reputation, has sold just over a million copies in North America since Friday. That puts her ahead of 2017's previous biggest seller, Ed Sheeran, who moved just over 900,000 of his latest album. Reputation also becomes Swift's fourth album to sell a million copies in the space of a week, following 1989. Red and Speak Now. Comedy Central will air its new special entitled The Fake News with Ted Nelms on December 13th, starring Ed Helms. I see what you did there. The one-hour special will feature made-up headlines that closely resemble real news. Should be interesting. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Stand up to fight, not hiding it in a pillow or holding it in until your stomach goes... What would you do for a Klondike bar? The Washington Post fact-checker claims Donald Trump has lied 5.5 times a day since he's been president. Or as Trump calls lies, fake truths. Insiders are saying that Arianna Huffington ignored sexual misconduct at the Huffington Post. But remember, her ex-husband is gay, so she might just be really bad at noticing things. The Consumer Safety Association has listed the worst toys of the year. Yep, right on top of the list. The Louis C.K. action figure. Blake Shelton was named People's Sexiest Man Alive. And once again, the sexiest man not alive is Keith Richards. Yeah, it's crazy out there. Blake Shelton was named People's Sexiest Man Alive. And Donald Trump is president. Wow, it's almost time for Kim Kardashian to announce her think tank. Those three UCLA freshmen accused of shoplifting in China have returned to the United States. However, the airline is reporting that they're missing several pillows, a headphone set, and a drink cart. Records show that Alabama U.S. state candidate Judge Roy Moore was on his local mall security notice for continuing to harass and try to pick up teenage girls a while back. His pickup line was, do you come to Orange Julius a lot? The FDA has approved its first pill with a tracking system that communicates with a smartphone. The technology works perfectly. The hard part is getting someone to swallow the smartphone. At Ohio State University, 83 students were caught cheating using a group messaging app. Now they're all using the Lawyer app. Opera singer Audrey Luna hit a note while performing at New York's Metropolitan Opera that had never been sung in the 137-year history of the Met. She hit an A over high C. They found out why no one has ever done that when the place was overrun with stray dogs. Time for Nobody Gives a f- A new survey finds that 7% of Netflix users stream from public restrooms. In other words, streaming while you're streaming. Hey, Netflix. Ew. Nobody gives a f***. A British Scrabble champ has been banned from competition due to the suspicious way in which he picks out his letter tiles. The Scrabble community also frowns on end zone celebrations. Hey, Scrabble, nobody gives a f***. The Lord of the Rings is coming to television as a series. The updated version still has the hobbits living and working in a mystical land. Yes, it's called Silicon Valley. Hey, short stuff, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.